This Macharino situation with Art should have ended a long time ago. A lot of this stuff could have already been handled had there just been better communication on all parties' parts. But it's insane to me that the person who initiated this debacle by making a public statement refuses to engage in any more contact with the individual despite all of their numerous failings, some of which I'm going to list right now. First off, they should have contacted Art before making a public statement. But the fact of the matter is, they didn't. Now, of course, you would probably say, that sounds crazy. They just went forward with a public statement without contacting Art. Well, no one would intentionally do that, but they failed. You see, they sent an email to the wrong address and then expected Art to respond. Of course, he didn't because he never got that email. And then, after he didn't, then they finally went public with a statement. What's interesting is that prior to them making that statement, Art had already began sending them money so that they could handle some of these payouts as he was overworked, backlogged, and realized that there was too much for him to handle. They then responded and realized the error in their ways as he questioned them. Why are you guys making this statement? I've already began giving you guys this money. They, Some of them apologized. Someone even ad admitted after doing a little bit of work that, hey, I'm willing to stand by the fact that you've given us all of the money that we needed that they had asked for. So they still haven't released any of that information. The reason why Art assumed that they would actually be clearing his name is because they gave him those assurances as they were on the phone as he released those statements, just to make sure that that's clear. It feels to me like a lot of the situation is more so just New York politics being played out in public. I've been in so many different groups. I'm all, I've always followed a lot of fighting game players, even though, though I don't play fighting games um, professionally or anything like that anymore. And as I've gone in these spaces, I've been in different people's streams. No one is talking about this Arturo situation aside from the New York players, the New York scene. Those, those are the only people that are perpetuating this. And the primary person who's been doing this is actually bum. That's kind of interesting to me, considering he blocked Arturo Sanchez despite zero contact from him whatsoever. The other insane thing about that is you decide that you refuse to communicate with the person, you go six hours excoriating this person, spreading all sorts of lies, never contact them, and then block them from communicating with you so that you're not actually open to any sort of rectification or any sort of truth in this matter. You're just perpetuating nonsense. What's even more insane is during these six hours, two hours and four hour streams, he then even made the statement that it doesn't even matter if art is cleared, he'll still believe it no matter what, no matter what evidence comes forth. I'm gonna play that for you so you can see for yourself. Even if he gets clear somehow, it is, I will not believe that shit. I will not, I will not. If he was to get cleared somehow, if he was to get clear somehow, I'm still not f***ing with it, ever. There ain't gonna be no apology, no nothing. That's not a man that's honestly trying to get to the truth. That's not a man that's actually even trying to work for everyone's best interest. He's working for his own best interest. Now I know some of you guys have been pretty biased. Some of you guys have already pretty felt like, have felt based off of that terrible stream that Art did, that there must be some truth to these statements. But I'm pretty sure that the vast majority of you at least believe there is some evidence that could actually clear his name. And if he did clear his name, then you would retract your feelings. To make the statement that no matter what, you're just completely committed, that is just outright terrible. That is just evil in my opinion. And this is actually just par for the course. You see, during those six hour streams, he excoriated TSB. He was just dragging them for filth, saying how much that they had cheated as well and so on and so forth. Then later on, he retracts it, but he shifts the blame to art. He doesn't say, I'm sorry. He didn't say, I apologize. He says, you know, it looks like they're cleared, but you know, uh, it really was art's fault. He spread misinformation. Art didn't spread misinformation. You spread that misinformation. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the narrative of exactly what happened. Art had been pretty pivotal to Macharino and their inclusion within the fighting game community. He had been generating money for all of these tournaments and there are testimonies from all of these different people to admit exactly what he had done for them. There are tournament organizers that are making these statements. There are players that recognize how integral he was. He did a lot of good for the community, but Real life took over. There was a bunch of things that happened as far as him starting to implement this new technology regarding PCs and things like that. And all of those things started taking their toll. Meanwhile, he's running weeklies, he's sitting, uh, he's managing monthlies, interactions with international players, and all of these things take their toll. So he was backlogged and communicated that. 
two different organizers, basically mentioning, hey, there's too much. I need someone else to take over. I can't do this. But you understand that the fighting game community is doing things, a lot of these things pro bono, and they left it in his hands, expecting him to still be able to handle it while actually approaching him, telling him, hey, players are hitting me up about their payment. He's telling them, I know, I'm sorry. There is a queue. Can you please work it out? Can you have someone else do this thing? I'll actually include those screenshots. So there you see it. Here's a person telling him, hey, these players need to be paid and him telling him, I'm trying to catch up on this queue. Can you have someone so assist me? And the person he was asking them to have assist was actually an administrator on all of these things. So they could have taken care of it. They needed to be trained on how to take care of this. So all of this wasn't falling on just one person's shoulders. You have to recognize that a lot of times like this, they have entire processing departments to handle pay payouts of this magnitude. Let's talk about why these play, play, payouts could take so long, because it's not just as simple as attaching a person to a match arena. First off, the page has to be created. Then the players need to be added. Then those players need to be paid out if they even have a match arena account for the first place, but sometimes they don't. But then even the problem happens where even when you do that, sometimes people can't log on to their match arena to get the payout. So then you have to pay them out on PayPal. This happened today. For some reason, it's not letting me log on. I said I can send the money to Daniel, anything, and then he'll send it to you via PayPal. Yeah, do that because it's not working from my phone. I said, all good. But then let's go into one of the major things that was actually confounding this problem, which is another one of Macharino's failures. First off, let's talk about these international players. Now, Art had to work with international players because he was doing work with virtual fighters. He had some international events for Japan versus US, Japan versus US versus EU, and things like that. So while he was working with those players, let me just be clear, almost no Japanese players have Macharino accounts. But there's a good reason for that. Let's get into it. First off, PayPal account creation and approval from local governments varies, right? In the United States, creating a PayPal is almost quick and easy and painless, but that's not true for every other country. Some countries have extra steps. And for some of these people, it can take a month to three months before you have actual access to your PayPal. That means in order to withdraw money, some of these Japanese players would have had to have gone through a bunch of steps and it would have taken them a long time to get the money. So it kind of makes sense why you would say, mm, I'd rather just do the, um, some other form of payout. Then let's get to another uh, process, another point. Creating a Macharino account isn't particularly difficult, but the site is completely in English. It isn't localized at all for Japanese players, at all. So that means in order for them to create the account and get to the point of processing requires a lot of translation. It requires a lot of extra steps that most of them aren't willing to do. And you have to think, if I'm only doing this for a single one-off event that I don't plan on like replicating that I haven't really experienced a whole lot of, then it doesn't make sense that I would go through all of this work when someone can just give me the cash through other means, which is what ends up happening, where Art would end up going and finding a person in Japan who was trustworthy amongst all of the players, but he needed to contact them to find out if they were fine with these kinds of arrangements, and then pro giving the money to that person, having that person then distribute it to the people. Now, when he was doing this, he had to eat the taxes on these situations, and they ran into a problem. One such case, he had to send it to one person, and that person eventually decided, you know, this is too much of a headache. I can't contact all of these people. I'm sending it back to you. That person was only responsible for contacting Japanese players and making sure that they could all get their money. Art would have been responsible for doing this with translation barriers and all sorts of other things. So they sent it back to Art. Art then had to find another person that he was working with and said, okay, can you? And then they ended up finding, well, here's a person who all the players trust and so on and so forth. And then he was able to get them their money. This took time. He was apologetic throughout the entire experience and he was telling them and giving them assurances as they kept running into different barriers that, hey, your money is safe with me. I'm good for it. Just understand as soon as you guys find the person that can receive these funds, I'll give that to them. While also asking them, please create Macharino accounts in the future so that we don't run into these problems. But this is while he's actively running other weeklies, actively responsible for majors, actively coming up with this innovation for this technology for PCs to help the players have better training environments. So this is a lot for one person and he's asking for help from different people and he doesn't have a team to help him. And so he's falling behind. There's a difference between 
evil, stealing money, but he's falling behind. That's what happened here. Finally, there are groups that have been able to convert players overseas that have been using Macharino exclusively, but this is happening in spite of all of these other issues that we've already discussed. This is this you, you can understand that plenty of people wouldn't want to do that, and older players are not going to be connected in the same way, and so it makes sense why they wouldn't have these Macharinos. It just makes sense. So you can understand why he would develop a habit of extracting the money to PayPal and distributing to people that way. Add to that the fact that some players are going to be young and you know 15, 16 years old and can't receive um paypal accounts add to that the fact that sometimes maturino goes down as bum said himself listen sometimes maturino just doesn't work good sometimes maturino just doesn't work good it goes down sometimes that guy faulty is a known dragon ball fighters player particularly talented very very relevant in the scene he had four different maturino accounts why because there was a problem where sometimes it seemed like accounts would get deactivated and he couldn't get back into them so he had to create new ones so then now that means that someone has to decide which of these maturino accounts do i need to be sending to which one is the active one that you still have access to and then despite all of that there were still situations where he couldn't log in this happened today for some reason it's not letting me log on if he can't log in then that means and he still needs his money then what else are you going to do so because of that it starts becoming easier because of the piss poor functioning of maturino to just start doing it via paypal especially when you're managing that sheer amount which is what art stood st started doing now, is that a violation of terms of service? Absolutely. Was Macharino completely aware of it? Absolutely. As I showed you guys in the previous video, Macharino was completely aware. Actually, I didn't show you. You know what? Let me fix that. I didn't show you guys who was talking in that previous video asking about bum stealing. The person who was to, uh, who was actually speaking in that situation was working for Macharino. So they were completely aware. They're processing all of these payments. They know when someone is cashing out to themselves. They are completely aware of this, but they turned a blind eye because they were aware of all of the piss poor functioning of their website. It was something that couldn't be helped. That's why they're silent. That's why they're going through covering up their tracks, trying to prevent people from understanding this. But I have the receipts. Fortunately, people save information like this. So now that they've gone deleting some of these conversations to try to cover their tracks, we already have it logged. But the fact is they could be doing better. They could have saved themselves. It's still not too late. They're, de they're so defensive. They refuse to contact. They refuse to actually get to the bottom of it. And now they're just being shady. No lie. I talked to Matt Reno the other day right yo they were not happy they were giving me one word answers like the shit was so different and i understand why this would happen because of their piss poor business model let's talk about another failing of Macharino. Macharino ran out of money and so once they ran out of money they decided that they had to cut half of their staff which they did but they decided that they wanted to keep arturo sanchez still on the books not as a paid employee, but still expecting him to do the work, building up their clientele, managing these tournaments, and helping them maintain their presence within the fighting game community as he was a trusted person. They used him to do this while not paying him for a year. So then at this point, Art begins saying, hey, what I need is I'm going to need some payments from uh, these Macharinos to help cover expenses now that Macharino is no longer paying me. So then that means now I need to be able to take a percentage from the pot. So he publicly announced this to both the tournament organizers and the players and the people donating. I have records of organizers point blank saying, yes, you made it crystal clear and we all made an agreement that you would receive 15%. So the fact of the matter was this was made known, this was made public. And so these were the funds that he was receiving because Macharino was no longer paying him, but still expecting him to do all of the work. So it's really insane that as I've been speaking these things, because I've known some of these truths and I haven't been as forthcoming because I still was hoping, I was holding out like Art was, that Macharino would eventually come to their senses and recognize that I haven't been on attack mode. I've been trying to help people recognize the situation isn't what it seems. But when you have people lying and attacking me, and now you have people moving behind the scenes, trying their best to undermine me. And I'm not gonna get into all that stuff just yet, but I'm saying the fact that I was expecting Macharino to eventually do the right thing, to finish their audit and say, hey, you know what? We actually got to the bottom of it. And yeah, it does seem like he paid us back. As they said in DMs, they just refused to publicly state it. I was holding out. But now I understand why they were doing shady things. When Art was doing a stream and Rob was asking him for information, it wasn't that he was lying about being able to log in, as Bifuteki insinuated. What actually happened was mid-stream, Macharino blocked 
his account to ensure that he couldn't actually go through and show all of those receipts. They were watching the stream actively as it happened. They've been watching all of the streams of this drama. As Bum was spreading the lie that Mike hadn't been paid, Matt Gerino was actively live watching and sent him a text message and said, we're gonna make sure that we process that right now. They're aware of everything that's happening. They're just remaining silent while they're trying to expand and doing things with NFTs and nonsense in order to try to make up their lack of venture capitalist funding as they're trying to do more fundraising, as I also have in text message. So it seems like they were running into financial troubles. They weren't paying art appropriately. They weren't, they were turning a blind eye to their own terms of service. They didn't have a manageable website. And now they're sitting here being silent and letting the fighting game community suffer and fester because they refuse to actually take the steps necessary to clear art's name you guys have that have been in this community you know him you've experienced him you recognize what he has done for the scene don't let this company tear you apart at the seams while they let you fester and just sit there and, and speculate and do all of this nonsense as instead of actually being forthcoming with the truth bum himself admitted yeah they're only giving one word answers they're not really trying to communicate why when you have the truth you can communicate that they're refusing to do so. I'm gonna get into one last thing, one last thing, which is the plane ticket situation. Just so we're clear, anyone out here lying and saying Art bought himself plane tickets to travel to these events is actually lying. What actually happened was Art had an event with overseas players in which he was going to be throwing this event together for them and helping them generate funds for Macharino and things like that. Just to be clear, Macharino isn't only for payouts and donations. They do fundraisers, they do other things. So as long as people communicate that this is what this is for, then it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Now, Art had withdrawn some money for the players and he had considered using it for plane tickets. As it worked out, he didn't have to and the money was put back into the match arena. Now, for the record, that is not embezzlement because you see, when you have funds that are dedicated to a specific thing, then those things are earmarked in a way that you're not allowed to touch them and misappropriate them. Fortunately, donations don't fall under that category. Now, I know that you would probably think, wait a minute, but if I'm donating for a specific thing, then that means that obligates the person to use it for that thing, but that's not how that works. If some, for example, if I started a donation drive right now saying, I would like to get myself a better video card because I'm such an amazing streamer and I'm such an amazing commentator and my, my content is so good, I need you guys to help me with the video card. If I started a donation drive for that and you guys donated that to me and then I decided suddenly, you know what, actually, I don't think I wanna do that content anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and go on a vacation. I need a break. That's perfectly legal. Now, is it an, ba a bad thing to do? Is it disrespectful to the people who donated or who are supporting you? Absolutely. And if things like that happened, I would understand people saying, I no longer wanna support you and I'll never donate to you again. Fortunately, that's not what's ha what happened. Number one, that's not embezzlement. Number two, those funds were obviously returned. And number three, it was for the very players that are regarded within that event that needed those funds. And he actually ended up finding ways to do it without it. So all of that, if the worst that you have is that he tried to help players get to an event to make sure that the event was happening that he was primarily responsible for, if that's the worst that you got, then we really got to start reevaluating what we're thinking. We're going to have to juxtapose that again next to the $478,000 that he generated for the fighting game community, next to the 1,300 events that he presided over, next to all of the work that he was doing behind the scenes, next to all of the donations that he actually donated to these things, next to all of the personal toll that he was happening, and let's not forget despite all of this backlog this is the most hurtful part of this entire situation you had your dad you had person i'm not going to go into the specifics you had personal matters that were really complicated that were painful that were stressful and you were dealing with that as well and instead of people actually having sympathy they just give you distrust disloyalty and then they start spreading doubt about like Bum saying, I don't even know if that thing is real. I don't know whether it's true or not that his father is dying or whatever the case may be, but that, like, why are you capable of doing all this, but you're not capable of paying out the players, which takes seconds to do? That is evil. You guys gotta check yourself. Don't be on the wrong side of this. It's not too late. Turn that around and start saying, you know what? Let me actually wait for the receipts. Let me actually try to reach out in good faith instead of just trying to argue why he's wrong. I get that that stream was terrible. 
You think of dealing with all of that stress, having your entire scene turn your back on you, having your own personal issues that you're dealing with, and actively while you're trying to defend yourself, having people gaslight you and yell at you from your chat and just and tell you how disappointed they are. And you think of how you're supposed to be composed through all that. Some of y'all niggas can't stop yourselves from going zero and two in your pools from stress. But this guy is supposed to handle all of that and be composed. I don't think so. You know better. Do better. This was a community. It can still be one. Don't let terrible pillars spread misinformation and lies who are so committed to actually taking his position that they refuse to even see evidence. There's a reason he wouldn't talk to me. There's a reason he'd never reached out to Art. There's a reason he's being so completely uh, dishonest with the things that he's saying. We can do better. You can do better. Do better. This game one last thing. People have made statements saying that this is none of my business. Asking, why would I even be involved? What does this have to do with me? I'll explain it. When I see these kinds of situations, I'm vicariously fighting for myself. You see, it was some time ago when a player lied on me and said that I hadn't paid them for a match when I had paid them the very same night. I had paid them immediately after the match and they lied and let it fester and then got quiet and the, the community ran wild with it and it seemed like no amount of evidence would prove otherwise. So when I see this kind of situation, I'm always going to be skeptical. I'm gonna look for information before I come to a conclusion because that's what I wished someone would do for me. And in that situation, the only person who really voiced that actually everything did happen the way it was supposed to was Justin Wong. He spoke up when everyone else was against me, he was the only person to actually voice the truth. I wished that other people in the room would actually speak up and tell the truth. Meanwhile, Miranda was in the room, saw it happen, knew everything was up on the up and up, but then was on Twitter speculating. So wait, did he not pay or not? I'm just trying to make sure I get my facts straight. That sort of thing is scarring. That was the situation that led to me retiring because I felt like if I could have that much integrity throughout all of this time in this community, over 10 years of integrity in this community and people can turn on me over one situation from one person lying, that was enough for me to realize that this wasn't a community that I wanted to stay in for the rest of my life. I've always been a musician and I decided that's what I'm gonna pursue. The thing that is one of my many talents. So seeing this happen again to somebody who now I see fixed one of my biggest concerns with the community, which was the poverty situation, that you don't make enough money for all of the sacrifices, so your investment and your time isn't worth it. Seeing someone with the solution and seeing that person being attacked unfairly, it sparked something in me that made me want to fight this. So you can say, yeah, I'm retired from the fighting game community. I mean, I'll still play NBCI every now and then, the best Marvel game that's ever been made. You know, I'll still, I'll still mess around every now and then with fighting games. I like, like watching DBFZ. I still watch Mar more Marvel 2 matches than any other person. I, I watch, it's always in my feed, nonstop. But would I wanna be part of a community that would do this kind of behavior? Absolutely not, but it's not too late. Y'all can fix it. So where you can say, yeah, this isn't your community, this isn't your business, and that's true, it isn't. But at least I'm doing the job that you should be doing. You should be the one that's being unbiased and fair and looking for the information as opposed to just running out with stories and creating Twitter spaces and doing all that nonsense, all because you wanted to get that job so you can get more pay in his stead. That's what it is. It might not be my business, but it's your bias. Because let me, let me be so fucking real. This community is soft on a lot of shit. And nobody's willing to back up anybody else. They'll let, they'll let somebody fucking go in flames, even if they're innocent. Even if he gets clear somehow, it is, I will not believe that shit.